my darlings, welcome to a new video. You may have been expecting a fashion video today instead of a vlog because I have got into the routine of doing fashion videos on Sundays, but I just, I'm just not feeling it this week. I just, I don't feel inspired. I don't feel like I want to be shopping at the moment. Um, other than the odd home bit, I'm just not really feeling in very much of a spendy mood right now. If you are not in the UK, you may not know, but we are in our third lockdown right now. Um, on the news last night, I think Boris said, I think the date, the 8th of March was mentioned. So I think we're gonna be in this lockdown for at least another month. Um, and yeah, I just, at the moment, I'm just not feeling inspired to do fashion videos. So I am very sorry if that's what you were hoping for today, but I feel like if you're not feeling in the mood to do a fashion video and then you just do one, <laughs> it never feels right, it never feels natural, it's never a video that I'm proud of and I don't want to whack a soulless fashion video up just because it's my routine. So I hope you don't mind, um, but it's going to be another vlog and I don't know what's going to happen in this vlog because every day is just the same. Oh my goodness, in case you couldn't tell, I'm just I'm just in a bit of a non-inspired mood at the moment. I need to do something to shake myself out of this mood because I hate being in this kind of mindset. It's very hard to be positive all the time, obviously with everything that's going on. We're all allowed to have our down weeks and I have to say my energy this week has been pretty low. I've been going to bed super early. I've been getting up super late just because every day literally feels like the same. It feels like the whole year has just been, like obviously we're so lucky that we were able to move house and lockdown number one was awful but at the same time we had a lot of distractions. I was doing my daily YouTube videos um, because we had so much exciting stuff going on because we were unpacking, we were moving house and there was a lot to occupy my mind other than what's going on in the world, whereas now I feel like obviously we're a lot more settled. We've been living in this house for, what's the day today? Just over nine months. We've lived here, wow, we have lived here for just over nine months. We can't even go outside and do gardening at the moment, although it is quite nice today, but it's just cold, nothing's really growing. Um, and as with every single January, it's a little bit quieter work-wise as well. I feel very fortunate to still have work and still be able to keep myself, you know, keep paying the bills. I feel very lucky for that. But I think I probably speak for a lot of people when I say that this lockdown is by far the worst, by far the hardest. But anyway, I don't want my videos to become a place for moaning myrtles and I don't want to become a grumpy person. I don't want to be... I don't want to be negative in my videos because I know that so many of you come to these videos as a bit of respite, a little bit of relief. So that's what I will try to provide. I have had quite a lot of messages, especially actually emails as well, messages on Instagram saying that you would love for me to bring back the daily vlogs, but I have to be honest, I just can't because firstly, there's not enough going on. There's not enough for me to show you. I can't do things every single day just to create content because where we're not allowed to leave the house, aside from the select few things, there's nowhere I can go. I can't take you to Soho Farmhouse. <laughs> I can't take you for nice little Cotswold village explorations because aside from our daily walk and trips to get food, <laughs> we're not allowed to leave the house. Um, so yeah, I just feel like I don't want to force content and for me at the moment three videos a week is manageable and I'm not gonna lie, I have I have a lot more days at the moment where I literally don't do anything other than just sit on my laptop, doing work, doing household chores and I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see that stuff <laughs> so I'm sorry I'm not doing daily videos at the moment. Hopefully when life starts to go a little bit more back to normal I will but for now, I will just provide you with entertainment as and when I can do. 
Um, so this morning we have just got back from Quince and Clover. We went to get some salad boxes for our weekly lunches um, and picked up some veggies from there. I got a nice winter veg stew from there as well, which I've just eaten, which was nice and hearty. And I also decided to reorganize my underwear <laughs> drawer today. So every day I'm trying to do something that's, you know, one of those tasks that you just tend to put off for ages and ages. Well, arranging like my socks and my bras and things like that has been something that is obviously a very boring task so something that I had put off for a long time I've measured the drawer I've all I've ordered some little drawer organizers from Amazon um, and I've got rid of loads of old stuff that I just didn't need anymore I also am not working out at the moment <laughs> for various reasons which I won't go into right now um, but I also but that also means that I don't need to have loads of workout stuff in the precious space that is the bedside drawers that lovely French chest of drawers we've got by the side of the bed so I filled that with more like loungewear and I bought my fitness clothing up here to put away in its more permanent home. Excuse the pile of clothes behind me, but I did want to try and show you this jumper. So this is from a brand called Nanushka, and this is actually from a website called 24S. So you may remember if you watched my content over Black Friday that 24S was a website that had the most amazing sales during the Black Friday time. I spotted this jumper on there. I think it is really, really lovely. It's just a very nice cozy knit. It's got this lovely detail on the zip, which almost looks like a Missima necklace. I have got my Missima hoops and ring on today. I might paint my nails later, but yeah, this kind of reminded me of a Missima necklace. I just love the chunky vibe of this. This is all I want to be wearing at the moment, and it is all that I am wearing. A nice chunky knit and black leggings. So this is the fitness clothing that I had in the chest of drawers down by my bed. So I'm gonna pop all of that away, and then this room will be nice and tidy. I've decided, seeing as my dressing room is pretty much as tidy as it gets right now, aka there are not piles of clothes on my island and everything is in its rightful place and it's a fairly sunny day so the lighting in here is pretty good right now, what better time to show you kind of a finished dressing room tour, I guess, slash how I organize my clothes, um, like where everything ended up. Obviously I did film the whole process for you of this wardrobe being built um, and when I was putting stuff away, but naturally when you put stuff away for the first time, it may not be its forever home. You might find that something actually works a little bit better in a different place. Although I have to say, I don't think I've done too much changing around. Um, I did think quite carefully about where I wanted stuff to be. And even when we were designing this room, I already had in my head while we were designing what I was going to put where. Because um, if you cast your minds back to when was it like June, July, when we had those first meetings with the Heritage Wardrobe Company, they were going into such detail about how much rail space I needed, how many dresses I had that were a certain length so that we could create cupboards specifically for those items. So a lot of the cupboards in here are actually specifically built for my clothes. It's not just like a standard wardrobe where you pick and choose different pieces. This wardrobe is actually designed for my clothing um, and the quantities of clothing that I have. So you'll you'll see as we go around. So yes, I'm going to get my tripod out um, or maybe I'll do this vlog style. Now I'm going to do this vlog style um, and I'm just going to show you around the whole of my dressing room and how I organize my clothes. I have to say, this is probably my favorite view of the dressing room. You get to see so many of the design features that I absolutely love in here. I think that end wall there is probably my favorite feature of the dressing room. But then of course, I've got the lower level storage down here with the beautiful mirrors. And then I've got this panel effect wall here, which is storage behind all of these as well. I think eventually we might paint the ceiling in here in delicate white 
Highlights from Crown, which is actually the shade that these are, and it might make it just feel a little bit more as though it blends into one, because at the moment it very much is wooden panelling and then ceiling, whereas perhaps if the ceiling was the same colour, it might blend in a little bit better, but that's something that we're not necessarily in a huge rush to do. And then of course I've got my island down here, which is actually, <laughs> do you know what, in this video it looks quite small, but it's actually a very good sized island. There is loads and loads of storage in here. Initially I did ask the guys at Heritage if I could make it a movable island because I thought maybe sometimes I might want to do my makeup at the island over there but actually where the floorboards in this house are not quite even, <laughs> nothing in this house is quite straight and the heaviness of the island it would have been too many little reasons why it couldn't be movable but actually I'm really glad that it's here, it's more of a storage space now than anywhere that I sit to do my makeup but we'll, we'll get to the makeup bit shortly. One of the reasons why I initially wanted to go with the Heritage Wardrobe Company and they're the guys that built this was I just loved their designs with the circles on the mirrors, I loved how bespoke it could all be Inside here I have got lights as well, I've got those turned off at the moment because they do make it go a little bit um, flickery. And I was able to add so many of my own personal touches in here, so for example this little area around here is like, <laughs> this is probably the only slightly more messy area right now. I'm looking for a nice little pink footstool to go under here. I was originally thinking I would do my makeup at this area here, but actually I like to stand up when I'm doing my makeup, so sometimes I do it in that mirror, but I think most likely when my powder room is done, which is where these doors lead, I think I'll most likely do my makeup in there. I think we're going to create some lighting in there that's going to be specifically perfect for doing makeup. And then the other viewpoint of the dressing room is obviously this one down here, so we have that little window to build around and then we've got my tall hanging space down this end of the wardrobe, and again I just love the detail on the mirrors here. Something else that we decided to go for was this antique glass, so this is mirrored on the top of the island, the same style of mirrors as I've got on the doors. The whole time, yes it was amazing to be able to have such a bespoke wardrobe built, but I didn't want it to look really modern in such an old house, so the fact that we were able to have this antique mirror I think is, is something that was quite an expensive additional extra, but it's something that I'm really really pleased that we did, and then also the coving at the top there I think is a really nice finishing detail, although it obviously is a specific dressing room design, I think it still just works so so nicely with the style of the house, and there was a point where we were considering putting little handles on here, but actually so many of you guys said that I should keep it plain because then it almost looks a little bit like the panelling that we've got elsewhere in the house and actually I'm really really glad that we did keep it plain. So let's start down here, you may recognise this little corner is where I film my videos, I wanted this to be a really visual area, I wanted to have some clothes on display, I wanted the mirror to be this really lovely arch shape and then I really wanted to have the mirrors on this design on this side here because I just absolutely love the design, so this was always meant to be the really pretty area with my video filming in mind. A lot of the time I literally pop the tripod here so you get quite a nice symmetrical framing around me when I'm talking. I've had to put some kind of filter fabric on the window here because it is super duper bright in this area and then you'll see in a second I have got some artificial lights in here which I do set up when I'm filming as well. So let's start in this corner. I try to keep surfaces as clear as possible just because otherwise it can look a little bit cluttered. So all I've got on here at the moment is just some makeup brushes um, and my jewellery box. I probably will style this area a little bit more at some point, but at the moment I'm happy with how minimal um, and how not too much stuff I've got up here. This is probably the most packed area of the wardrobe, so we all have those drawers that are just full of stuff, well this is my version of the man drawer, it's just got loads and loads of different bits and bobs in here, whether it's chargers, um, makeup bag, adapters, my purse, this is very much my, <laughs> I don't know what to call it other than the man drawer, it's just where all of the stuff goes. And then this one is full of more electronic things, I've got some hair curlers in here, um, I've got my my Dyson straighteners, the charging point for that, and then also my clothes steamer. And then down here, even more hair devices, so I've got my GHD Glide, I've got my, um, my Bondi Boost curler, I've got a spare pair of GHDs, some GHD curlers, 
so that is very much the hair drawer and then it wasn't too long ago that I showed you these I do use these drawers a lot more frequently so this is a makeup station drawer I've got these lovely dividers from stackers which I just absolutely love they are expandable so they really do work in so many different sizes of drawers and they've got these specific little for example um, this is specifically for your brushes and to be honest, a lot of this makeup is what I will top up my makeup during the day with. Um, if I'm going to be doing any filming, I've got lots of powders and lipsticks and things like that. The next one down is another jewellery storage drawer. I don't know why there's a dry shampoo in here. That should not be in there. This is another of those incredible stackers organisational trays. Again, it's an expandable one and it's just great to see so many of my favourite jewellery pieces all spread out like that. And then we have have another drawer which isn't very full but it's full of just those you know those extra bits that you're just never too sure where they live so spare hair bubbles I've got these um, elegant touch gel nail soaker offer pads I've got other nail bits some spare skincare some false lashes and then this is just the tray of all those little knickknacks like hair oil tweezers hair clips spare lip balm spare and busy bubbles so just a nice little bit of extra storage and then I probably will come up with a nice design for these shelves at some point. Um, at the moment I just wanted to keep it fairly minimal so it's quite dust free. You can see they do have the lights at the side here but at the moment I've got them turned off because they do get quite flickery. So I've just got my Dyson um, hair box down there, a nice little Tom Ford box. This is my nail kit stuff that I'm doing my home manicures with. That could probably live in here actually. And randomly I've got a hair conditioner down there as well. Okay, so these are my secret little doors to my powder room, which I'm not going to take you in there right now because I've showed you in there in every single one of my recent vlogs and nothing has changed, but hopefully we'll get moving on that very, very soon. And then we have my gorgeous end piece here, which I just absolutely love. I've got some fairly seasonal bits just out on display here. It makes a really nice background to my videos. They're bits that I do reach for quite frequently. So just a nice little display area. And then this is a little bit more of an office-y kind of tech kind of drawer. So yes, because I do use this as my filming space, it is useful to have tech stuff here. So I've got my mini ring light, mini tripods, microphones, and things like that and more office bits and bobs like notebooks, pens, etc. And I know it's a little bit strange having office stuff in my dressing room, but as you can see, I have got so much storage and I just wanted to have all of my worky bits in one place. So here and here, this is more um, kind of work and makeup zone, whereas from here onwards, it becomes more actual wardrobe. I did opt for gold rails inside all the hanging space and I'm really glad I did. There's something about gold, I just find it a lot more timeless than silver so I'm really glad that we went for the gold on the rails. And then these, they do look kind of silvery on camera but in real life they're more of like an antique gold. I actually got these from Etsy so the Heritage Wardrobe Company did have a selection of drawer handles that they could have provided um, but I just preferred these so I ordered these and it was no problem just to add those in when the carpenter came to build the wardrobe. And then here we have my big main mirror, which again has that kind of antique effect on it. And it is also an area for storage. So because this is one of my longest hanging spaces, I've got loads of my longest dresses in here. Feels like a lifetime ago that I was <laughs> able to wear anything like this bring on the summer months oh my goodness and then as you can see I've also got some of my lights which I use most frequently in here so because it does take a little bit of time to set them all up on tripods etc I just leave these um, set up so all I have to do is bring them out of the cupboard plug them in and we're ready to go so I've got one of my falcon eyes and then my ring light in here on their tripods. I don't think this side is fully full yet either, no. So like a half empty drawer just with some loungewear. I think this is more lighting. Yeah, so just some practical bits for when I'm filming. Some more of that filter fabric. This is just actually an old white bed sheet. Sometimes it's really helpful just for adding a little bit more light to a space, an extension cable, some more lights, another of the big falconized lights. To be honest, I only need to use additional lights when it's a really dark day and to be honest if it's a dark day I just tend to not film I'll just put it off so I don't actually use those too free too 
too often. We've got my little corner over here with my silk roses and this amazing candle. I haven't actually lit it yet, but it still makes the room smell so incredible. I think the brand is Nudes and it's the over rose candle, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And then in here we have got my heels, which to be honest, I just don't wear heels anymore. My goodness, has anyone really worn heels throughout the past year? And then down here we have got more tripods um, for various filming things and a little bit of uh, fitness equipment down here. So I've got my ankle weights, my sliders, my Pilates ring and a little yoga mat. Again, I've not really used that stuff very much lately, but it's there if and when <laughs> the desire strikes to do a little workout. Okay, so if we move along to these cupboards here, they've all got these lovely push locks, which makes them super duper easy to open. You can see this is the first of my shoe cupboards. So another thing that with the Heritage Wardrobe Company was an added extra was to have my cupboards built all the way back um, I think they call it like a carcass, so obviously, as you can see from the shape of the room, it just continues down. And this room was absolutely massive, like double the floor space before we had these units put in. And a typical unit would probably be like this deep, but the wall doesn't stop at this point. So I wanted to have the cupboards built all the way to the very back, just to really maximise that space. And I think it is especially useful on the shoe drawers. So as you can see, I've got loads and loads of shoe storage. This is more of my closed toe kind of winter shoe section. So I've got some trainers up here, lots of my boots, snow boots, and things like that on the top shelf, and then some slightly more kind of fashion boots down here, a few more snow boots. These probably should go in the other drawer. And then I've got some of my fashion trainers, like my Vejas, my Chloe trainers, and they're all on a soft clothes glide. And then we get to more of like everyday shoes down here. I've got some of my mules. I just absolutely love mules. So I've got quite a big collection of slip-on shoes and then some of my favourite Valentinos down here. And again, you can see I'm absolutely not using up all of my space. I still have plenty of room for more if and when I do add to my shoe collection. Well, when, not if. And this area is a little bit more sparse because it is my summer shoes. Summer shoes are a lot smaller than boots, so I just have quite a bit more room here. So I've got loads of room for more up at the top there, as you can see. And then down here, I've got more mules, um, things like flip-flops, sandals, the kind of shoes that I would wear on holiday. Oh my goodness, this brings back some real summer memories. My Valentino shoes. We've got my castagna wedges, and again, these drawers go all the way to the back, really making the most of the room in this ginormous loft space. So all of these panelled areas are also pushed to open and close, which I think is great because I do actually think that having door handles on here would have changed the aesthetic a little bit, so I'm really glad that they're all push open. Um, here we have got my main handbag area. I did actually have quite a few clear outs when I was moving stuff into this room and obviously when we moved house, so I have to say for a fashion blogger, I think my handbag collection is fairly restrained. Obviously in some of these areas there are double layers. We've got some more handbags down at the back here, but these are the bags that I reach for the most often. As you can see, most of them are neutral. My Chloe Tess down there, my Chloe C, I've got my Aspinall bags. So this is my most used handbag space. And then this next cupboard along here is my slightly larger bags. So I've got my more everyday bags um, when life was more normal and I was going into the city a lot more. My big bags like my Mulberry Bays water, my zipped Bays water, um, a lot of basket bags here, my Gucci Dionysus. And then down here I have got my knee high and over knee boots. And then this allows you to really see just how deep the cupboards are. It's absolutely ginormous back here. So behind the boots I have got um, more basket bags and more kind of weekend bags. That bright pink bag down there is my Mulberry weekend bag. And this is actually one of those spaces that was specifically measured and built according to the height of my highest pair of over knee boots so that they would all fit perfectly in there. As you can see, it does need a little bit of a tidy. 
then this is where you can see we started to really think about exactly how many hanging things, how many folded things we needed in my wardrobe. So these two cupboards are pretty much identical. This one obviously has this little cutout section where we had to build around the beams in the room. Um, and I've got a summer cupboard and a winter cupboard. So at the top here we've got summer accessories, I've got my beach mat, I've got some beach towels. This is my hat that I'll wear next time we have any race days, Royal Ascot, things like that. And then this is a summer holiday, cool, it's actually a cool bag, but I do keep a few things like sun creams, etc., in there. And then I think this is my bikinis, yeah, so this is my swimwear drawer. I actually came across a bag that I hadn't unboxed um, since we moved house, so I completely forgot all summer that I had these lovely bikinis from Peony, and I still haven't even worn them. I must have got them in, I think I got them in last January sales, and then obviously wanted to wear them this summer, but because I didn't get around to unboxing that particular box, I had completely forgotten about them, so that'll be a nice thing to wear this coming summer, if it still fits. And then we have got some summer casual clothes down here, jumpsuits, uh, some really nice casual little dresses. You might remember if you watched the vlogs in summer, my lovely, very easy to throw on H&M dresses. I love wearing a cap during the summer, so I've got my caps there, some nice lightweight shorts, little blouses, so just really easy to wear summer clothes. Oh my goodness, and then we have an entire empty drawer down here. So again, that can be filled with any nice, easy to wear, foldable outfits that I might purchase for summer 2021. And again, all of these doors are just push to lock. Okay, so this door had to be designed a little bit differently because of the beam in the way. So this one is more of a concertina door instead of a push to open. And this is where I keep all of my winter accessories. So I am frequently visiting this cupboard at the moment. We've got scarves, hats, gloves, um, even some hand warmers and things like that up at the top here. Also because of all the lovely fluffy knitwear that I do wear in the winter, I get very furry. So I've got lots of these little rollers that I keep in here just to go over myself before leaving the house to get rid of any dog hair, any fluff from jumpers. And then I have got my little bobble off here as well. So if I do get any bobbly bits on any knitwear, this is an easy way of just shaving, shaving the bobbles off without destroying the clothing. So I've got my scarves in this top drawer. I really like how they're all rolled up so I can just really easily see every scarf that I've got um, and pick the right one for my outfit. And then down here we've got some winter layers, I've got some thermals and t-shirts down here, some nice knitwear, my sweaty betty thermals, more knitwear here. And then we have got winter bottoms down here, including jeans, leggings, faux leather leggings, my Reese tine trousers, and things like that. And this is another of my most frequented cupboards at the moment. This is my knitwear cupboard. Yes, I have very much got quite a strong color palette. That is an odd one out. Don't think that should be in there. So this is where I come pretty much on a daily basis to decide which of my white or pink or neutral colored knits I'm gonna wear during the day. And then anything that's really chunky or maybe a little bit heavy and potentially might pull on the coat hanger, I just fold and pop up here. As you can see, I have had a bit of a clear out. It's looking a lot more spacious in here. So a little bit more room than there was at the beginning of the season. And then in this corner one, so this was a bit of a funny one because where we've got these cupboards down here, this cupboard goes really far back and I can't actually access very easily the stuff down there. So what I might do at the end of the winter season when I want to be wearing more summer dresses is I might put winter coats or out of season stuff down there where it's a little bit more inaccessible and bring these kind of pieces into a more accessible cupboard. That'll definitely be a lot easier than when we lived in London. I used to have to do the massive seasonal switch over with things that were in the loft, whereas now it'll just be a case of swapping from cupboard to cupboard. So at the moment I have got a lot of my dresses in here, which are more kind of summery, spring summer dresses from the likes of H&M. Where was this one from? Anne Louise Boutique, Zimmerman. Topshop, Zimmerman, Reese, etc, etc. So my nice little kind of everyday summer dresses go in here. And then I have got some travel bits up here. Obviously haven't had to use these recently. My travel makeup bag, some travel reusables, coffee cup, water cup, things like that. 
And then sticking with the theme of dresses, this is, oop, this is more of a long dress cupboard. So anything that's a little bit too long to go in that section will go in here. So I've actually got a bit of a mix of seasons in here. I've got things ranging from jumper dresses all the way through to sparkly dresses. And then, gosh, this is one of my favorite dresses to wear in the summer. So I've got some long summer dresses right next to winter knit dresses, which isn't ideal, but I know that if I want to wear something a bit longer, then this is where to come. Again, I could probably switch this around and get rid of the chunkier knit dresses when it comes to those warmer months of the year. I've also got some midi skirts in here. This little section here is just skirts, which again are a little bit too long to go anywhere else. So this next section here is real prime wardrobe estate. It is very easy to access and yet at the moment it is filled with winter coats. So this is most definitely here a section that I will change round once it's no longer coat season because it just doesn't make sense for me to have such prime <laughs> wardrobe real estate filled with things which are going to be not much use to me for the majority of the year. So at the moment, as you can see, it is literally my super duper wintry coats. I just love my coat collection. I am a real coat lover. Um, and at the moment, it's so nice to be able to see them all so clearly. In my old wardrobe in Clapham, the coats were hidden around a bit of a corner, um, almost a bit like this cupboard. They were really tucked behind in a pretty inaccessible corner. So I love that I can see them all. I can choose whichever coat is perfect for my outfit. I just love seeing all the textures and all the shades all together and they're not all crammed in. I feel like there's just the perfect amount of coats for this space. I know by the way that so many of you absolutely loved this gorgeous pink coat and it went out of stock really really quickly when it first came out um, but I believe it is back in stock so I'll leave the pink coat linked below. And then because I have so many I've actually been investing in more boots this last six months than I think I ever have done before. Blame it on the new countryside um, environment we find ourselves in so I have got some more boots that I tend to reach for on an on a more regular basis in here. So I've got my Chloe boots, I've got my Saint Laurent boots which I definitely need to wear more actually. My Fairfax and Favour, Tory Birch because I do find that I'm wearing this kind of boot more so than my suede over knee boots. They're just a lot more practical um, and they tend to go with more things that I'm wearing at the moment. So I'm storing those underneath my coats. And then this bag here doesn't really need to be in such a prime spot, but it's filled with my softbox lights. So again, if I need to film anything on a really dark day, then my softboxes are fairly easy to access. But yeah, where this cupboard is, is such a big and useful space. I might, um, do you know what? I might even put my coats in like a suitcase or something. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna move them in the summer months and I'll probably put summer dresses in here during the warmer months, just so that they are a lot easier to access. Maybe I'll put as many coats as I can fit in there. Um, yeah, and then summer dresses in here. Potentially, let me know what you would do. So then down here we have got my little window seat and in here is a selection of clothes which I've decided that I don't need anymore. So anytime I come across something that could potentially go to a charity shop or be sold or given to a friend, it goes in that drawer down here. And when we're allowed friends again, come and visit then they'll be able to rummage in there and help themselves to anything and then we have got this cupboard over here so this is more winter coats but this time it's some more like jackets i would say so shorter length coats i've also got my gilets in here my lovely fluffy coats from the likes of stan studio i have got my raincoats more gilets my lovely holland cooper gilets my holland cooper cape that's kind of like a ski jacket style coat from Ted Baker. Just so many lovely coats and gilets and jackets in here. And then on the top shelf, I have got my more wintry wool hats, which I love, and a pile of dust bags in the corner. I used to keep every single dust bag <laughs> that came with handbags and things, but now I don't keep very many, but it is always useful to have a couple. Maybe I'm carrying some shoes somewhere, or if and when we next go on holiday, I take these as like laundry bags, so they're always very handy just to have a couple of dust bags. 
So these two cupboards here are also concertina doors, again because of the beam in the middle. This is a little bit more of a summery cupboard, so I've got some summer hats, I do love my straw hats, and we have loads and loads of room on this side. This is my summer blouses, they don't take up too much space just because of how slim they are, such lightweight material. Um, and I did have a huge clear out at the end of summer, so I actually don't have a crazy amount of summer blouses. As you can see, this is also spare coat hanger storage. And then down here, I have got a spare rail. I do have another rail outside in the corridor, um, which is for very new things or things which I'm loaning from retailers or things which I haven't decided if I'm keeping yet. So the rail out there, in fact... <laughs> This is the rail that I'm referring to, so it's stuff which is really new in, stuff that I want to shoot potentially, that goes out here. And then I did used to have two rails out there, especially during Q4, like November, December, where my work is really busy, I have a lot more products on loan, um, a lot more things I need to shoot, so I did need two rails out there. Um, so I've just collapsed the second rail and popped that down here because there is, again, just loads of storage at the back of the cupboards, these ones all go really far back as well, so I can even fit things like suitcases and lots of storage bags down here. My gym bag is in here as well, obviously not able to go to the gym at the moment. So yeah, that is what's in this cupboard here. And then we have this lovely cupboard. So I have got more of my summer handbags here, my straw bags, my goodness, this is one of my favorites, my little Prada bag. This bag, <laughs> when we were moving house, I thought I had lost this bag and I was getting really, really stressed. But obviously I did find it. I think it was in a holiday suitcase that I hadn't unpacked. So this is like summer bag area, sunglasses, and I have got spare sunglasses cases in this little bag. And then we have got shorter skirts, um, and then we've got some trousers folded over coat hangers as well. So this is more of tops, and then we've got the bottoms. Again, I've got some spare coat hangers. I've got some suitcases, both here and behind the clothes, behind all, all of here. It's a bit like Harry Potter's bedroom. <laughs> or Narnia, you can see there's a big suitcase tucked away at the back there. In my head, everything has got a place, I know where everything is. It's so nice having all of my clothes out. Where we used to live before, we did have half of my wardrobe would always be up in the loft because we didn't have enough space for everything. Whereas now, everything has its place um, and I just feel like I, and I feel like I get more out of my wardrobe because I know where everything is and I can see everything so much more clearly. So I am very, very happy with my space and how I've organized everything. Just realized I didn't show you what's in the island. Excuse the Gucci wallpaper box. So let's start on this side. I have got this very organized space here with my sunglasses. Again, sunglasses is one of those accessories that, that I really, really love, I do love to invest in. And previously, where I didn't have proper sunglasses storage, I would have really expensive pairs of sunglasses like Fendi and Saint Laurent. I would just have them thrown in the back of a cupboard or at the bottom of a handbag somewhere. So it is very, very pleasing to me that I now have proper sunglasses storage. And all of these drawers, again, are soft clothes. This I would call my kind of outfit solutions area. So I've got um, like magic bras, I've got high-waisted underwear, I have got some silk turbans in case I need to keep my hair frizz-free overnight. I've got some spare silk pillowcases, spare silk pajamas, things like that. A bit of a miscellaneous area. We've got more loungewear, I've got some cashmere bottoms, some house socks and things like that and then even more loungewear down here. And then this side, I think, okay, even more loungewear, super bulky loungewear down here, like big fluffy jumpers, and then it goes into fitness wear. So I have got my workout leggings in the bottom, and then workout tops here. So I've got all of my sports bras and fitness tops in that one. And then at the top here, we have got face masks and belts as well as just randomly i've got my gucci tights in there never thought i'd be using this space for this but i have got three little sections here with various different face masks and then it's really easy for me to see all of my different belts oh my gosh i actually have four face mask sections i think i can probably there we go a little bit of a rejig so i've got three lovely Gucci belts and then two Holland Cooper belts. 
I don't wear belts that much, but when I do, I feel like one of these is absolutely perfect. I don't really desire for any more belts. Um, although having, <laughs> having seen Lydia's reels lately where she's styling up her Hermes belt, I'm very tempted not in an Hermes one, I don't think I could justify that, but maybe looking at adding a slightly slimmer belt to my collection. And on the back of the door, I have got my scene on her really lovely big um, robe style cardigan, and then a silky dressing gown as well, depending on depending on my mood. And that's it. That is all of my clothing storage, how I store everything in my dream dressing room. So as I've mentioned, there are a couple of things that I still need for in here. Definitely a pink kind of footstool for in this area. Um, I feel like I just need something on the worktop here, but nothing that's going to make it too messy. I do want to get a nice big pink antique rug down here and maybe even around either sofa or footstool, like a really big, nice seating area there, which will be really easy for me to just scoot out the way when I'm filming. Um, but I feel like I just want somewhere where I can plonk myself down in here just to feel a little bit more relaxed. And if I want to pull it up to this area here and do my makeup, then I can, but I don't want to rush into finding something. I want to wait until I find the right thing. And I was in a way putting off sharing with you this kind of finished wardrobe clothes storage until I had those pieces, but that could be another year, could be another 18 months because I am always looking and I haven't found anything that's quite perfect just yet. So I hope you enjoyed that little, um, probably quite long segment. I'm gonna go downstairs now and do some unboxing because we have had a couple of deliveries since I've been up here. Nini. Oh. I've got somebody here that wanted to say hello. Say hello to everybody, Lynn. Okay, so I've come downstairs to do a little unboxing with you. This has just arrived, it's very heavy, from Reese, and I thought I would share it with you. So it says on here, Threads of Bliss, Spring 2021. Oh my goodness. This is rather beautiful. So they have sent this lovely box of goodies. There's a little card in here, let's have a look. Ooh, emerald bloom, eau de parfum, and scented candle. What do you think to that, Dexy? Dear Josie, we hope you and your loved ones are well and safe. We've prepared this gift to keep your spirits lifted through this gloomy start to the year. You'll, you'll find enclosed items from our new active wear and fragrance collection and a loungewear set for extra home comfort. We hope you enjoy them now and also beyond this moment, looking ahead to a wonderful 2021. From Reese with love, hashtag threads of bliss. How lovely. I'm very excited to see what their active wear is gonna be like because active wear is all I am wearing at the moment. Well, leggings at least. Ooh, so we have also got here a silk lined face mask. It's very nice packaging for a face mask, I have to say. Ooh, that's really nice. So you, Dexy, it goes with your colors, isn't it, little boy? Very chic face mask. Why are you wagging at me so much, little boy? It's not for you. Anytime I unbox something, this boy always thinks it's for him. Ooh, I love you. Okay, black oud. Hand sanitizer and hand cream. I think I actually tried a tester of this. I think actually it was in the Bista Village Reese store and it is the best smelling hand sanitizer I have ever come across, Black Oud. That actually smells like how the Reese shops smell. It smells quite like hand sanitizer when you first put it on, but now <laughs> it smells like a perfume. Okay, so we've got Emerald Bloom Fragrance. Now that is a jazzy bottle. That is very, very chic indeed. I think Charlie's gonna like the look of this as well. Oh my gosh. And the pump is like a frosted gold. That is beautiful. That is a very designery smelling fragrance. It smells like, it smells like an expensive men's fragrance, but the kind of men's fragrance that girls like to steal, if that makes sense. That is gorgeous. Charlie is gonna love this. I love this, but Charlie is definitely gonna steal that. It smells a little bit like Tom Ford, um, is it ombre leather? 
I think so. And that's one of Charlie's all-time favourite fragrances. Yeah, he's gonna love that. If you want to buy your man a fragrance for Valentine's Day, but you don't want to get one that like everyone and his dog has got, that is a winner. And a matching candle. Very nice. Very Tom Dixon-esque in its um, design as well. It's quite smoky. Honestly, that smells like Tom Ford. Reese, you have hit the nail on the head with your fragrances. Very, very nice. So there's a little QR code on this note and I think it's a feel good playlist. So I'll have to pop that on later. Very nice. So this is a pair of leggings and they're in this like emerald green shade but they are very thick they feel almost like a cross between my reese time trousers and leggings really nice thick waistband they are going to be so comfy i'm going to wear those tomorrow without doubt and then what can only be described as the most chic looking sports bra i think i've ever seen i actually spotted this on their website and it looks so good on the model. I definitely don't have her abs, but <laughs> that is a very, very chic sports bra. Ooh. The Amy textured scarf, 75% wool. This is just one of those really classic warm scarves. Then if you can see the texture, it's kind of a little bit waffly. That is absolutely gorgeous this is one of those scarves that's really nice <laughs> i keep taking it back to traveling but when we're allowed to travel again it's nice to have something like this in your travel bag because not only can you keep yourself warm with it but also on an airplane i feel like it's nice to just be surrounded by your own <sighs> this sounds really weird but i like to be surrounded by my own like things that I know that I've washed, if that makes sense. So whether I want to use it as a blanket or as a little pillow or to keep me wrapped up and warm. That is very, very handy. Ooh, I think this is a tracky bottom set or a full track suit set. The Danica Stripe Jogger, almost like an 80s style jogger with this go faster stripe down the side other than that just a classic pair of cream joggers they have got an invisible zip at the back here and very neat little pockets on the side if there is a brand that can use their designs to elevate our loungewear game it is going to be reese and then the matching little hoodie top although it's not a hoodie it's more of like a what would you call it tracksuit half zip top in the shade ivory again very very chic oh my goodness this is perfect because all i want to wear at the moment is comfy clothes and loungewear and as much as i love reese's typical collection a lot of their stuff is obviously a lot more tailored a lot more kind of work wary and very smart and beautiful so i'm very glad now that i can have my loungewear elevated with a touch of reese's amazing tailoring and good quality materials etc etc and smelling amazing as well so that was very generous thank you to the reese team for sending over that wonderful box of goodies i am a lucky lady indeed so I've brought you up to the loft bedroom. I don't know if you guys have really seen too much of this room, but we have a new bed in here, and this is a really beautiful bed frame from the Cornish Bed Company, and it's a very typical kind of farmhouse. It's a little bit Soho farmhouse-esque style bed. They've got some really lovely ones in more of like a brass finish as well, um, but I think this one just works so perfectly in here. The other delivery that just arrived was a new bed linen set from Piglet, piglet in a bed so we've got this green set from piglet already on the bed but they have very kindly sent us another set which i think will look even more beautiful in here and it just i love their textures so it's very much this kind of raw linen style this is their let's take it over by the window this is probably one of the darkest rooms in the house and now it just looks blue yeah the lighting in this room is crazy <laughs> Not much better actually, but it's kind of like um, an oatmeal-y shade, this one here. 
I love how they come as well in this lovely bundle. So we've got the two pillowcases, a bottom sheet and a duvet cover. So next time we change over this bed, which isn't going to be for a while because <laughs> obviously we're not allowed any guests at the moment, we'll pop on the lovely oatmeal set. I have to show you this room again when it's a lighter day because it's getting pretty dark now. Um, it's just such a lovely cosy bedroom. We bought the bedside table from Etsy from the other bedroom which we call the attic room in here. I felt there was just a little bit more space for it in this room. But yeah, just love how this room is looking now with the bed frame and the bedding. Very cosy, very old farmhouse style and I think it just works absolutely perfectly for this room. And then we've got the lamp in the corner little chair from Soho Home and then I won't show you the other corners because they are just filled with storage. <laughs> 